let's talk about, you know what I'm saying, not playing the way you sleep or playing the way you eat, you know what I'm saying, eating mean making your money, you don't play where you make your money, you know what I'm saying, meaning like, you don't never uh, sleep with the boss or sleep with your managers, sleep with your co-workers, it never works out. And um, this easy situation is a perfect example of it never works out. You know what I'm saying? What easy going through should be a lesson for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Never sleep with the boss. Never sleep with your coworkers, you know? Because <clears throat> it ends up being an embarrassing situation. Um, I got a story, you know what I'm saying? Because I did it. So here's my story. So, a couple years ago, you know what I'm saying, I was working at a job, right? So, um, you know, I'm kind of friendly, talking to the co-workers, and I'm talking to the manager, you know what I'm saying? Nice female, light-skinned manager, you know? So, um, you know, she started to do the overnight shift, because I worked the overnight, so she would manage the overnight shift, you know what I'm saying? So, um. One night we get to talking, you know, I gave her my number. I thought nothing of it, you know, just, you know. So when it was our day off, she would text me late night, like, yo, when you come in the next day, just come down to the break room and um, we're going to get it popping. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, she was above me. This was a manager, you know. So, um. And she was very demanding, you know what I'm saying? Same thing as probably with Remy. You know, Re, you know, Remy was probably demanding to easy the block captain. Who knows? But this manager was demanding to me, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, me being me, I ain't turn it down. Not one bit. So, um, when I came in, I went down to the break room, you know what I'm saying? Um, as soon as I got down there, I text her. I'm in the break room. So when we, when we got down to the break room, she, she took my pants off, took my pants down, started giving me head, you know what I'm saying, all that. <coughs> you know, nice Jamaican, light skin, big titties and all that. So she started giving me head right there in the break room, you know what I'm saying. You know, I started to hit that right there in the break room. I hit that, you know what I'm saying, like I ain't really know her you know i just met her on our shift that was our first time talking and i gave her my number so she texted me and like yo when we come down to you know what i'm saying so we so we get it popping in the break room a couple times like three four times you know she would tell me come in early so she could see me before she goes off and goes home you know what i'm saying or she would you, you know, because her shift is one shift before mine. You know, I had the 11 to 7 overnight, and she had the 3 to 11. But sometimes she would do the overnight, and if she can't do the overnight, she do the 3 to 11. So I would come in at 11, and she would be going home. So she would tell me, yo, come an hour earlier. So I would come an hour earlier, you know what I'm saying? And, and then we get it popping, you know? <clears throat> yeah, you know. She give me head, I hit that, right the break room. You know, we go to the other room that's adjacent to the break room, a more private room, you know what I'm saying? And then we will get it popping and we will do what we need to do. But then, um, you know, but, but I say that to say like, even that situation right there was, was, you know what I'm saying, was not right, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm here to make money, I'm not here to, date with females i'm not here for none of that shit that's what easy should have been on that type of time even if she did come on to you you know you put to turn that down you know what i'm saying because that's gonna mess up business that always messes up business anytime you deal with a woman that's your co-worker it's your boss and you deal with her and you have sex with her now it's not business no more now it starts to get personal so, um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, you know, the manager that I dealt with, you know, 
we did it a couple times. You know what I'm saying? Then I, then I start to catch feelings for her. You know, that's where I fucked up at. <clears throat> you know, I start to catch feelings for her at the job. You know, now I'm at the job and I don't want her to talk to other niggas. You know, that's if she's on my shift. You know, she would, you know, go to the uh, clubs and shit. But before she go to the clubs, because I work in the city. So, so before she go to the clubs in the city, you know, she would pull up to the store with her girlfriends, showing off a nice outfit, you know what I'm saying? You know, try to talk to me and shit. But, you know, I'm in my feelings. So she would try to talk to me when I'm, you know what I'm saying, doing my job. And I'm, you know, I weed her off. I'm ignoring her. I'm trying to distance myself from her. Because I'm in my feelings. Because I'm like, oh, damn, she looking real good. You know, she about to go to the club. You know, you know why she coming to the job to show off her outfit to me. <clears throat> you know, but, but that's just the games they play. You know what I'm saying? That's the games they play. So she got into my head. You know what I'm saying? Because I would always think about her. You know, I was like, damn, bro. She had me. I ain't going to front, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, once I taste that, I was like, oh, man. That, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say That's why I, I never, ever again, like, you know what I'm saying? Date a girl that's at my job or any... You know what I'm saying? Any location I got to deal with money. And I'm with a sister or a female. I'm not going to date her. You know what I'm saying? That, like, that's my number one rule now. Not to date a female that's that's working with me. Or a female that I'm getting money with. It got to be strictly business. Because that's what I'm all about. I'm all about business. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I learned from my situation dealing with my manager, you know what I'm saying? Cause she got into my head, like I said, you know what I'm saying? She know what she was doing. She saved me, she sought me out. She was very aggressive. She said what she wanted, you know, she came on to me, you know? Got my number, text me what it was. She like, yo, once you come in, you go down here, you text me and we are gonna do such and such. I'm like, damn, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So I know that's what Remy probably did to Easy. Cause Easy probably save her, um, save her league, you know, by uh, doing that shit with Hitman, going off in a battle with Hitman Holler. That probably saved her league, so she was in debt to Easy. So, what way could she express her gratitude? Was to um, do what she did, you know what I'm saying? But Easy didn't see the bigger picture. It never works out, you know what I'm saying? Because now look, her, you know, her husband put hands on him, you know what I'm saying? Even though y'all said it didn't happen, it did happen, cause again, nobody denied it yet. Even though everybody talked about it, not one person from either camp said this didn't happen. Nobody denied it, so you gotta ask yourself, why did nobody deny it yet? <clears throat> why? Why didn't nobody deny it yet? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, once people talk about it, you know, they just ignore it. But ignoring it though makes it go away. I tell you that shit now. Ignoring it though makes it go away. You know, it just shines a brighter light on the situation, you know? <clears throat> yeah though, but I learned the lesson and we all should learn a lesson from the easy situation. You know what I'm saying? The lesson I learned was not to date a coworker, not to deal with a manager, a boss, none of that. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna keep it business and business only. So that's a lesson I learned. And that's a lesson I hope that somebody could learn, you know what I'm saying, by watching this video and by learning from my situation and learn it from the easy situation to always keep it business when you're dealing with a female co-worker or female boss or female manager always keep it business they might come on to you because you know we're alpha males we're dominant <clears throat> you know so they might like that it might attract them to you but again it's all business keep it business because once you you sleep with them 
you get into that, you know, y'all cross them boundaries, that's where problems happen. Problems always happen when we cross them boundaries. So boundaries got to be set. You know what I'm saying? I learned to set boundaries when I'm dealing with females that I'm making money with. Y'all should too. It's your boy KVON. Hit that like, subscribe button for your boy. Till next time, I'm out the building, y'all. Peace.